Hey everyone, welcome to my new channel for my all my equestrian stuff. I apologize for this line of lighting. So just a, a disclaimer, I am not a professional in horseback riding. I am simply here just to share my story with riding. I'm not here to give advice and take everything I say with a grain of salt. This is my journey and it's just my hobby. I am absolutely not a professional. So with that being said, I wanted to share my experience with you guys. I don't know how much footage I'm going to be able to get today as far as my lesson. I have a lesson today, but I did bring my GoPro and I don't know. We'll see how that goes if I feel like maybe hopping on with the GoPro on my helmet and maybe getting a few clips. It also depends on whether or not my trainer would like me to. So of course, if they don't want me to, then I'm going to completely understand and respect that because they're my trainers. First, we're going to head over to Dunkin' Donuts and then we're going to get my coffee and then head over. It is currently, sheesh, what time is it? My pocket. It's stuck in my pocket. Um, so, sorry, I got, <laughs> It is currently 11 a.m. My lesson is at 1 p.m. So I definitely still have some time and I ordered boots online for horseback riding boots and I just got a text regarding that. So I'm going to have to answer that in a second. So this is weird. I'm kind of driving right now. So I'm not going to be looking at the camera because I'm supposed to be turning right now. All right. <laughs> so I just got my coffee. Now I have to swing back to my house because I need the lighting. Wow. I need a tape measure. Oh my god, there's a cop. Oh my god, this is illegal. Hello, officer. I'm a law-abiding citizen. Never never broken a, a law in my whole life. Because I just broke the law. The light didn't turn for me. And it turned for everyone else. I think the sensor didn't pick me up. So I... I did a U-turn. Because no one, no one was coming. I did a U-turn on a red. Don't tell anyone, okay? I, I swear I am a good driver. It just needed to happen and the cop was already gone, okay? We're gonna go pick up a tape measure and we're gonna remeasure my foot, my feet, my legs at the barn. For any of those who are interested in knowing what boots I got, they're Alberto Fasanis. Fasianis. Alberto Fasianis. That's my final answer. I'm locking in. Locking in. talk about it guys I literally like there is a tear running down my face because I was listening to a song it wasn't even like a very sad song mm, tears I just started crying man I just started crying it was nobody by Selena Gomez and all of a sudden I'm like I love Cassini so much <laughs> I literally am driving down the road right now going to the barn crying about how much I love my horse because a Selena Gomez song came on. That is pathetic. I am a pathetic human being, but I have no regrets. I'm also perfect. Anyways, I'm almost at the barn. So I'm gonna go. All right, we made it to the barn. Um, there it is. You can't really probably see it too well right now. So I don't really know what we're doing in our lesson today maybe dressage we did dressage the last one i haven't actually jumped with them yet so maybe maybe we'll jump we'll have to just see so i just got to the barn oh oh heavens <laughs> i just got to the barn and i am in the tack room i don't settle behind me and um so i want to show you guys my horse however it is so so quiet here right now so i feel like if i walk up I, by the way, I'm not built for vlogging. Like, I am so sh shy with that kind of stuff. I don't really like being like in your face with the camera. Like, some people don't mind it. I really don't like doing it. <laughs> I don't like being pushy. So, but I am probably just gonna take my camera over there and uh, maybe I'll, I'll use my phone actually. It'll be easier with the horse anyways. I don't know if that really even matters. Maybe this won't even make the cut. If this does make the cut, can you compliment my eyebrows? Because I did them before I came today.
done with grooming. We used to have so much time to kill because she's never this clean. So, thank you. Thank you. You think I have treats. I'm so sorry. I do not have treats. But I appreciate the kisses. I do I appreciate the kisses. And she normally likes when I like, rub right here. But she's probably confused what this thing in her face is. <laughs> Oh, not over here. Oh, my phone's in my pocket. Though. It is currently 12:20, so my lesson is in 40 minutes. So I might just let her graze grass, and then I'll watch um, my trainer have his lesson with his trainer. That's him going right now. I think that might be Tara, which she's such a good horse. It's in a pasture with my horse. And I literally love her so much. She is so, so sweet, so special. And she's kind of, she's very young and they just took her to her first show and she did really well. <laughs> Come watch the lesson and eat some grass, right Cassini? So what we're gonna do. saddle refit yet. I'm getting there, okay? I have a show coming up so I was gonna wait to do it. So it took me a long time because I was just kind of like checking it out. And also, my first time using this half pad, my boyfriend got it for me for Christmas. So I was just kind of looking at that as well. Um, making sure that I have um, some foam pad, uh, whatever it's called in there to kind of like help fit it. If you can tell though, it's like, I don't know if you really can see. It's just subtle, but it doesn't really fit all too well in here. Um, but it's okay, I'll get it figured out. Right, Cassini? Well, I just fed Cassini. We got done with her lesson. Sorry I didn't record it. We did really, really well. It was a jumping lesson. So I just fed her and put it back. I rinsed her off. I let her fully dry. So now I'm having a snack as well. Right, Cassini? Yes, I know. And we're gonna go watch um, some of the other girls' lesson. Hi, Lark. This is Lark. Hello.
Okay, everyone. So, like driving off the road. I'm headed home now, and I'm very sorry that I didn't get any footage of me riding with the GoPro. I ultimately decided that it was just a, sorry, <laughs> it was just a little awkward to do it since it was my first jumping lesson here. It went so, there's hair in my mouth. It went amazing. I, I were doing my first event, my first ever competition in general is in a couple weeks, so I've just been trying to mentally prep for that because I have a lot of anxiety, test anxiety, and she did great. We're really starting to figure things out, and of course my trainers are amazing, so we start to figure it out really, really easily. But yeah, I just, after today, I feel a little more confident. Um, we worked on, she likes to rush to fences and um, on the backside of fences. She also starts to go really fast, and typically it's pretty hard to control, and for a timid rider, that's really scary, so it has been scary for me and I was never really quite prepared for it until recently and now I feel a little more ready so we're just working on like keeping her calm and getting wow the sunset's really beautiful look at that that's crazy okay sorry that was just really pretty but we were just working on getting her relaxed and what after she before and after she jumped just keeping her even in a trot if that's what we needed to do and then we slowly worked our way up to the canter just doing even some cross rails and she just took she has such a good brain on her so she just understands and she applies it once we teach her so i'm really excited i'm just gonna keep tomorrow i'm coming out again and i'll probably just work on my dressage and since i don't have a lesson i'll definitely get that on the gopro and work that i don't know if i'm going to do the little cross rail practices or if i'm going to do the dressage i might start with the dressage for a warm-up and then i might actually um finish by doing some little cross rails with her to work on keeping her relaxed and calm like we did today and we'll see i mean i have two weeks to practice this but i feel pretty pretty confident i'm not it's my first ever show and we're just doing starters so i'm not really trying to go for gold here go for blue i'm just trying to get through it so as long as i can do that i'll be pretty proud of myself but i have food on the way i ordered most it's now 6 p.m so i got there a little before noon so i've been at the barn for six hours <laughs> i'm pretty much there most days out of the week when i whenever i can and i pretty much live there it's just such a relaxing environment so yeah wow look at this clouds they're literally like teal like cotton candy okay anyways <laughs> i'm gonna head out and thank you guys so much for joining on my little journey today and i look forward to making more videos on this channel